Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video in our cell membrane transport series. In today's video, we're discussing one of the most fundamental biological processes, diffusion. Diffusion is a type of passive transport, which means it doesn't require any energy or ATP from the cell. In simple terms, diffusion is the movement of molecules from an area of higher concentration to an area of lower concentration, until equilibrium is reached. This process happens naturally, due to the random motion of particles. Now let's discuss why diffusion is important. Diffusion is essential because it allows cells to absorb nutrients and eliminate waste, without using energy. For example, oxygen from the air diffuses into the blood through the alveoli, while carbon dioxide diffuses out from the blood into the lungs to be exhaled. This entire exchange is driven purely by diffusion. Let's see another example. Inside the small intestine, nutrients like amino acids and glucose diffuse from the digestive tract into the bloodstream. Although diffusion is constantly occurring, it doesn't happen at a fixed rate. Its speed can increase or decrease depending on several factors such as temperature, the concentration gradient, the size of the molecules, and the medium through which diffusion takes place. So, diffusion is a natural, energy-free process that allows small molecules to easily pass through the cell membrane. But what happens when the molecules are too large or carry a charge? In that case, the cell needs a different strategy. To find out what the cell does when diffusion needs a little help, check out our next video on facilitated diffusion. I'll see you there.